dealing with identity. Um, Vera and Cristina um, will uh, start from uh, our identity. Uh, so the identity of our school, the school we as music artists work in, and they work in as teachers. Um, um, Muse, Muse Turin, with our workshops, is active in this school since 2006. Okay. So it's a long-term experience, and we would like to share with you some of this um, identity uh, of this little school in the northern outskirts of Turin, and uh, starting with the, with some uh, some f some things they know better than I know uh, because they are every day inside school, and then I will try to uh, uh, show some items on which we are trying to work on, and on which hopefully we could maybe share some experiences in our project. Okay. <laughs> I'm Vera Bagliano and she is uh, Cristina Ferrando and we are uh, primary teachers uh, in the Comprehensive Institute Giovanni Cena in Turin and uh, we will share with you um, our school experience in the suburb of Turin and our successful collaboration with Muse in Italy. Turin is the main city of the region of Piemont and is located in the northwest Italy. In, uh, in our school, we, are, uh, uh, we closely cooperate with uh, association and uh, institution, participating to projects with goals from national guidelines for the Italian school. The focus is always to put the students at the center of the educational relationship from all the point of view, uh, cognitive, affective, uh, relational, uh, expressive. The Italian school mission is uh, the harmonic development of the whole person within the principle of the Italian constitution and the cultural tradition of Europe. Europe while promoting knowledge and appreciating individual diversity with active involvement of students and family. The, the school experience in Italy starts with the kindergarten from three to six, six years old, which is not a compuls compulsory school, but which promotes the identity, autonomy, and competence development and uh, initiate uh, students to uh, citizenship. Our education is composed by primary school from 6 to 10 years old and first grade secondary school from 10 to 13 years old. Students start to develop uh, competence for uh, uh, life learning, lifelong learning. Upper education is divided into different paths leading to the world of jobs or to the university. Italian school uh, follows uh, a planning based on a vertical curriculum and uh, on a development of competencies and goals in the lower and upper education. Consistency and continuity of the education are better achieved by, by following the student during his or her instruction within the comprehensive school. In uh, kindergarten, we have uh, five uh, uh, experience areas. In the primary school, there are three disciplinary areas. And in the secondary school, uh, there are uh, independent subjects. The disciplinary areas in the primary school are uh, first uh, language, fine arts, uh, expression areas, uh, that is uh, Italian, English, music, art, uh, physical education. 
second historical, geograph geographical and social areas, that is uh, histo history and geography, and then third, math, science, technology areas, that is uh, math, science, technology, lastly citizenship. Our comprehensive uh, institute includes uh, two kindergartens, four primary school and one secondary school. They all follow an educational plan ranging from 3 to 14 years age. Here you can see the timetable, the number of students in each class and the teachers involved. The social context of uh, our school is uh, typical of the Italian suburb. There are families of mid-low social economical tier. In our institute you can find uh, students from families of foreign countries. Uh, and the main areas of origin are North Africa, South America, Asia and East Europe. Now we, you will see some pictures uh, of our schools. Here we have the kindergarten uh, Abadia di Stura. In the same building there is also the primary school Abadia di Stura. Abba is the primary school which joined our comprehensive institute two years ago. Next to it you can also find the kindergarten ABBA. The primary school Mika is the mo smallest of our primary schools. And Martiri del Martinetto is our secondary school. This is Cena uh, and this is the, the headquarter. Cristina and I teach here in second grade classes. Some shots uh, to show you some of our rooms uh, and some activities in our schools. For example, here you can see our relax room uh, where uh, we read and uh, have circle time moments. Students uh, project this uh, uh, relax room. Yes. Yes, and a teacher uh, prepare uh, the wall uh, with this uh, uh, type of uh, design. Relaxing landscape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here is the science laboratory, our gym, our classrooms, and uh, also schoolyard. Since uh, 2006, Kindergarten and uh, primary classes participated to MUSE project, uh, which has become fully part of our curriculum in these years. Here we can see some moments with the artist, uh, allowing children to meet art uh, as uh, instrumental to expression and inclusion and uh, developing creativity and identity. Theatre, painting, manipulative arts, music and so many other uh, laboratories. These are special occasions to grow as aware and responsible citizens creators and protagonists of the future society, of a better society. We are ready to accept this challenge in this project also with you and we are sure that together is nicer and that together we can. Thank you for your attention. Sì, 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 sì,
ci sto, ci sto. Mi faccio piccolo piccolo. Hope to, hope to have not, not to have too much here. So, um, our, we have uh, already uh, discussed with uh, teachers and the principal of the school some items and some uh, strategies on which to work on. Um, and that's and that is because it's uh, as I told you a long term a long term collaboration between Muse Turin and this school. So we already started with classes and we are, we already have uh, some workshops going on and working on the idea of identity as we have been suggested by Antonio and since May of last year. Oh, this year, 21, uh, last school year. And so our, uh, our, our idea is, uh, I found it very, um, we found it very interesting to be here and to listen to your presentations today because uh, I think the one, one, one point, one item on which we all agree is starting from who we are. I, I, I really appreciated very much the Cassidic uh, um, uh, the, the Hasidic uh, story, Hasidic, 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 Hasidic story. Uh, you can't change anything if if you don't know who you are, who you, who you are. And <clears throat> uh, we all start from the the little, and we can reach the big dimension. So we manage and we handle uh, you, Europe. That is a huge theme because Europe. Is so complex as uh, history facts, as uh, economics, as social transformations. Today, as in the past centuries, and so we uh, we uh, we found this this title, "Edge of the City," because we are at the edge of the city, northern edge of the city. We are uh, outskirts, suburbs of the city, but we are center of Europe, as any of you, any of your context is, uh, it, it's, uh, society is multi-centered and everyone's identity uh, is a contribution to create uh, a, a bigger so, so, social uh, um, entire whole. Um, in this part of Torino, a new European identity is taking shape, just like in many other skirts in Europe. We, we heard our friends from Terni, and Terni has a pretty similar uh, situation, social, economical situation, as Northern Turin, but as many, I, th I think, all of our social contexts. And everyone is looking for... Um, a new identity, especially in places in which um, move, social movements are fast and big. Um, this, this is the sh uh, just, just a little, um, uh, no, 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 T too complicated. <laughs> let's, let's jump on. <laughs> okay, um, this is our territory. I, I like it on, bo on full screen, sorry. Um, this is our territory, and we start from territory. And the first question um, is, where do I live? Where our children live, there are rivers. You can see it here. Um, we are located in this area of the city. And the main characteristic is that uh, three uh, you can see the third one because it's very little, but this is the river crossing the city. Two, three. And this is the crossing on the, of three, uh, three rivers. This was so important in past centuries and still is. So, based green areas, development, 
uh, there are many uh, um, uh, building sites uh, in this area. All craft, all craft heritage, um, and, um, because of the fact that um, there are the rivers in uh, ancient times, but until the 60s of last century, uh, who lived in the city brought his clothes and linen and uh, everything uh, in this area of the city to the launderers for, for them to wash them into the, the rivers. Post-industrial economy. This uh, is a, a, a view of a Fiat, now Chrysler, mm -hmm. uh, powertrain technologies. But as in all uh, post-industrial out outskirts, there's no production here, and, uh, or very little production. There is the uh, project managing, there is the administration, but a few uh, production activities are still in this area. And this is a big social changing within the, the last 30 years. And you saw, they show you before the, the buildings. The buildings are now much bigger than they should be because, uh, because uh, they could uh, um, um, they could handle with more children. Uh, in the in Abadia side, we have four classes this year. Four classes. But we we can we can have uh, fifteen maybe there. And this is because in the seventies there was production here, and there was many fam there were many families working and making children and having children going to school. But this is what, uh, this is not only uh, our identity. Uh, this is, um, and, and we found this thing interesting, going from local to, uh, to, um, to a bigger plan, to, to a bigger context, and understanding with what, which part is, is in common. This is European. This is not Turin, this is not Terni, this is not Madrid. Uh, this is European. Oh, sorry, miss one. Uh, it, uh, there was a 19th century manufacturing uh, manufacture here, tobacco factory and paper mill. Uh, so it's a pro mm, not proto-industrial but uh, uh, mm, early industrial site. And there, there is also this is an historical importance. I we really appreciated the the presentation of, uh, of uh, um, University of Madrid on the cultural, historical heritage. And what is important to understand is, is that every single uh, village in Europe has this. Not only the big centers uh, like Madrid, Ro Rome, uh, Vienna, but every little uh, town, every little village in Europe has historical importance. Uh, where in where in the, in in early in late 19th century uh, this tobacco factory was built there was this thing there was one of the royal residen residencies uh, where a royal family went to hunt deers and boars but there's there is also uh, social suffering and it's uh, this is a, a, a shot from Nomad Slam evacuated in, in 2015. And in, in the past years, we had many, many, many children coming from this social context. The, and next to this, we have craftsmanship technology design. Our Aurora, I don't know if any, any of you knows this, uh, this uh, um, uh, brand, but this is uh, in when uh, it, it's almost Christmas time. If you want to to make a big uh, a good present and you have enough money, <laughs> <laughs> you can afford it. You can uh, you can have, uh, you can buy uh, an Aurora pen as a present. It's uh, it's uh, uh, an an excellency in uh, Italian craftsmanship. And it's and it's side by side with this, and with this. 
I, uh, it, it, I often cross uh, this park, this big park, Park Colletta, with my bicycle going um, uh, to their school. And last time I did, I found cows. And normally I found, um, uh, I, uh, I found uh, other animals. <laughs> I never saw cows, so cow farming, maybe a urban cow farming, why not? And so this, this was, uh, where do I live? And identity is who I am, who am I? Um, as uh, Vera and Christina uh, have told you, uh, our social context is characterized by multiculturalism, first and second generation immigrants, variety of social levels. Uh, we ha there is very, um, there's so much difference between families and weak sense of community. Uh, well, th this is the first work we um, made together this year. And this was a survey. We, um, uh, we gave every, um, every pupil with some simple questions like, what do you know about your neighborhood? And many students answered nothing. When, when I say many, it means uh, 100 out of 140. Uh, this was possible thanks to, uh, um, we, we made this on Google modules. Um, one of the good things uh, the pandemic brought is yeah. that we have some some uh, shortcuts to to reach families, but it doesn't work all the time. This time it worked. <laughs> uh, what do you like in your neighborhood? And most students answered parks and or quietness. Well, there is need for in, or, in your neighborhood. In this area, uh, this is um, my uh, one, one point. Uh, mm, uh, I, uh, because sometimes I, I need a newspaper. <laughs> and in this area, you can't buy a newspaper. There is, uh, there is no kiosk. No, there, you can't buy a newspaper. But most students have... <laughs> of course. And you can... Vera and Christina uh, gave, uh, as they have uh, seven years children, uh, they prefer not having them writing down the answers, but painting and designing. And you can see here. Yusra. Yusra has made a garden. And then, this is a scene, because there is no scene. Oh. Uh, a film is película, a uh, movie in yeah. Latin, film. Um, so, the seed. No, 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 not the hive. No, 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 no that's king. I, I just wanted to, uh, well, you, you can check it on, uh, on YouTube or on the internet. Uh, because um, I wanted to, um, to, Make you, make you listen to a song <laughs> that a uh, ska rock band from Turin um, with a, a recorded in 1991 and it's called Qui non c'è mai. Uh, here there is no there is no sea. We have we, we haven't got the sea. Qui non c'è mai. So it's and it was 1991, they are from Turin, they are still are from Turin, they are alive, and this, this is a strong, uh, uh, a strong, a big uh, deal for us, you know, we have everything, the mountains, uh, but we don't have sea. We are really uh, the, the topics, uh, topics on, on which we have started to work on are, Students cultural tradition because this is a identity. Uh, you, we want we have uh, these two big uh, items. 
Tell it to me. What do, what do I really do? And who am I? Who am I means where do I come from? Where do my parents come from? Uh, all my, uh, uh, very few of our students come from uh, the, the neighborhood. Very few of their families come from the neighborhood. Uh, as they showed you, they come from Northern Africa, uh, <coughs> South America, uh, China. So your, your, their own cultural tradition, historical heritage from the neighborhood, cityscape, that is very important because uh, being here in uh, Miraflores de la Sierra is so different from being in La Barca in Turin. <laughs> It's a total different landscape. And as, uh, one thing uh, art teaches us uh, as, is that there is no good landscape or bad landscape. There's no beautiful landscape. Uh, it's only a matter of how do you per perceive landscape? How do you look at landscape? And, uh, and maybe how do you uh, narrate to yourself landscape? So cityscape is important for us. And comparison with other European areas, and this is about sharing maybe during our experience, these next two years, a year and a half, uh, some experiences too. So we come to the work. What are our ideas, our ideas and our strategies uh, to work on? <coughs> Art language, of course, that is about understanding, communicate and express it. Uh, these are three very important items. Narration through body, voice, sounds and images. Now, narration. Uh, you can, uh, uh, we, today we have listened to um, uh, a huge amount of data, histories, uh, experiences, um, places, all this material, you can, uh, you can make it yours and per perceive it and transform it uh, in, and um, create and create, with this bricks, you can create a, a, a construction, a building, a narration building. And that's what I, I saw, especially in um, University of Juan Carlos presentation. It is pretty much how we work in, in all languages, visual, music, performance, uh, because, because it's very uh, crucial to uh, have, have items, data, and creativity is knowing how to manage with it and make, make it yours and express it to you now. Perform, uh, we would like to realize performance in urban spaces, making the school go outside. Normally we have performances inside schools, um, in, uh, inside spaces, for families or for other classes. This time we would like, as we talk about territory, cityscape, neighborhood, we would like classes and school to go outside, uh, maybe in the marketplace, maybe in a crowded street, and uh, having people uh, have, take a look and experience what we have been, what we have created, what is the result of our pro creative process. Um, exchange of materials and practices with partner schools. Um, um, this is about sending. Uh, shipping some some things, uh, some materials from one city to another, from one partner city to another, and having having maybe uh, uh, this is a proposal, of course, uh, having maybe a multi creative process. Let's say I I draw something and I send it to Evora and uh, another one. May, puts color on it and then send it to uh, Budapest. And to, in Budapest, this comes becomes material for children to have a, a, 
a little movement, a little play uh, or, or a music and so on. Uh, we would like also to show you if it's working, let's hope so, uh, a little clip of what uh, narration <coughs> is. This is a, a one of Sandra's workshops from last year. Um, he started from some materials and has come to this. Actually, just one of them. See? No sound?
Dice, eh, as, um, some, some, some experiences uh, of, of this year, of, uh, last month, uh, this is a work uh, we realized with seven years old pupils about maps because uh, one thing we did is take a look at the part of the city in which we live in and understanding uh, orientation and how the map works but the map is also colors and shapes, lines and it has much to do with visual and this is a short clip with no sound Unfortunately, mm. <laughs> but it doesn't work. Now it will sound like it's not sound. Sorry? It will sound something. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> but, but it doesn't show anything. That's not okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if I can do it like this. This one. This was not a, a reproduction of, of the actual map of Turin, but just the idea of a map. Map um, is describing territory with images, you call it. And we have. Uh, I, I don't want to bore you anymore, and uh, it's time if we have no time, so I cut off the, the presentation, but we have realized maybe next meeting. Okay? Um, <laughs> Uh, 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 an activity on river, on cityscape, um, and also um, on school, on school museum. This is an important item of which maybe we can talk about next meeting too, uh, because this um, this school, as many schools in Turin, uh, in fact, um, has a school museum in which uh, every every school tries to tell something about its own history, historical background, experience, and territorial identity. So this is so important. Uh, we, with a class, we try to realize, and we are realizing, some um, tickets that all of you, who, which of, who of you will come to Turin, will have to enter the museum. So the areas are dance, music, theater, with visual arts. Classes involved in this um, in this uh, project are six. Uh, but in, as a matter of fact, we are trying to involve uh, as many classes as, as possible. And in this school, Muse works uh, have workshops with all classes. That means twenty twenty-five. 25 classes and also the kindergarten plus two, two kindergarten four classes of kindergarten and this is our names thank you for your attention and we are very um, glad and honored to be here and we would like to share with you 
some ideas in the next months. 